Hey everybody. Okay, I want to introduce 2D kinematics now. So you're going to combine what you know about one-dimensional kinematics with all the stuff you know about vectors. So for example, if you have now some object in space here, so its position. So it has to be defined by some coordinate system. So let's say we pick some coordinate system. Okay, so now the position of this object is some vector, right? But notice that you can decompose it into x and y components, right? So here's the x component of the position, the y component of the position, and then, right, like the object can move in space, like say it starts here, so this is the initial position, and then later it's at some final position. Still, you can decompose into Cartesian components. Right? And then you could have, let's say, the displacement right here, delta r. So then the displacement is you just split into components again. So that's the benefit of Cartesian coordinates is you can just decompose into x and y and z and then you just treat each component separately like what happens in x doesn't affect what happens in y and vice versa other coordinate systems the components kind of mix together but not in Cartesian so same like if you take this per unit time then you can have average velocity and etc right like velocity you can split into components acceleration you can split into components Okay, and now that we're in two dimensions, I have to mention some vocabulary that would have been out of context in one dimension, but now in two dimensions, we have to talk about this. So there's a difference between displacement and distance. Kind of technical jargon, right? Like outside of class you can just use these interchangeably like nobody cares but they have very technical definitions so let's say you're walking and then you start over here and you go like I'll just make up some uh, okay let, let's say each of these segments is just one meter Okay, so you, you start over here and you end up over here. Your distance is kind of the path length. So let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So let's say each. Just say 1 meter. Right, so the distance, 11 meters. You went 11 meters distance. Displacement is the vector. Right? You started over here, you ended over here. This is your displacement. We'll call it delta r, your displacement. It's the vector, right? Delta x, delta y. So in the x direction, you went from zero to zero basically, right? So zero, and in the y direction, you went kind of up one meter. So right, so your displacement is one j. The magnitude of your displacement is one meter, right? So different. And that brings us to, let's say it takes you 11 seconds. So 11 seconds to walk from here to here. I don't know, maybe that's kind of fast. Okay, so average speed.
speed is distance over time. So in this case, you went a distance of 11 meters and it took you 11 seconds. So your average speed was one meter per second. Average velocity though is this vector, right, which is your displacement over time. Right, so in this case, in the x direction, it was zero, right, over 11, zero meters over 11 seconds. And then in the y direction, one meter in 11 seconds. Right, so your average velocity is this vector, zero i plus one over 11 j. Imagine if you like start over here and you walk and you, like, like, or say simpler, like you run around the track and then you end up right where you started, like quarter mile track. Your distance is quarter mile, your displacement is zero, right? So what is your average velocity when you run around the quarter mile track and then stop right where you started would be zero. Sounds weird, right? Because it's displacement over time for average velocity. Okay, and then to make things more confusing, that's average speed, average velocity. There's also, if you just take instantaneous velocity, which you wouldn't say that, right? You would just say velocity. And then instantaneous speed. So I'll say by example, like say you're driving 25 miles per hour north, like 25 miles per hour north. This is a velocity vector, right? It's a vector because it has magnitude and direction which makes it a vector. Speed is just the magnitude of the velocity vector. Right, so you, if you say 25 miles per hour north, that's a velocity, 25 miles per hour is speed because it's only the magnitude of the velocity vector. Okay, and then for kinematics, just remember that you can just split up what happens in X and Y. So again, if you have position right, then what happens in the x direction, what happens in the y direction. Right, it's like this is separate from this. And then what happens here, you know that this is the time derivative of that, acceleration is the time derivative of velocity. And then what happens here, y, and then a y. And then if acceleration is constant, right, this can be, you, you have your one dimensional kinematics or constant acceleration. If a y is constant, then you can use kinematics for constant acceleration and y. Okay, so we'll do a, some examples in another video. So I'll see you on that one.